couple of requests. Make sure you support quality content by hitting that subscribe button right there. For exclusive Alabama film study content and recruiting news, make sure you get on over to patreon.com slash Alabama Scheme Team so you can join up and become a member. You'll also get access to an exclusive Alabama radio show. Let's get it on. All right, y'all. About to try something new right here and just do kind of an individual play breakdown. If I see certain things, man, try to get it out to y'all where I can get you a little bit more content or something like this. But check this out right here. This is going to tell you why I really like my man, Mac Wilson, you know, definitely in comparison to a player like Rashawn Evans. Now, don't get me wrong. Rashawn Evans was a really good athlete, really fine player, but there were certain intricacies of the game that I think that he lacked. One of them being his getting off blocks. Now he was a physical tackler at certain times, but he's more of a chase linebacker. Matt Wilson does that as well. Uh, just as fast, uh, just as physical, probably more physical, obviously better in coverage and stuff like this, but Matt Wilson can get off blocks and he's, he's just a very heady player, man. That's what I'm saying. When people try to, uh, tell me and they want to compare this player and that player or whatever like that, when I'm talking about talent is who has the most tools, in their tool back and Mac Wilson is that guy. So check this out right here. I believe we have a dive come in right here. What do we see? What we have here? This is theoretically, this is 21 personnel. Got DeAndre Swift running back here. Nick Chubb running back there. Uh, Jeb Blazevich here. Got your man, uh, Javon Williams here on the Z receiver, X receiver right here, Terry Godwin. So you know that this bad boy right here, if it's, you're coming with a dive here. So there's going to be some blocks coming. Obviously, if you see the spacing here, Blazevich is uncovered. The left guard here is uncovered. Also, the right guard here, Ben Cleveland. I believe this will be 65, Kendall Baker. So check this out. Look at the difference between these two. Your man, Rashawn Evans right here is going to get a a, a block encounter by Jeb Blazevich. While Mac Wilson here, I believe is going to get some type of a combo block by one of these guys here the guard in the center, but look how each other reacts. All right, let's concentrate on Rashawn Evans right here. So he's coming in right there, stacked right over him. So boom, he sees the play coming, approaching. This is just a tight end now. Most people, when you're a physical linebacker like that, you're going to defeat a tight end. Jeb Blazevich is a really good blocker, but let's be real here. You should be able to defeat a tight end. He gets Stonewall Jackson. Look at him struggling. He's like, let's see it again. Oh, I'm stuck. All right. Now let's see Mac Wilson right here coming. So Mac Wilson, boom, combo. Uh, Not even really a combo block. He's just straight up stalking him, hitting him right there. Boom, block from Kendall Baker. He's on his block, still looking at the tackle there. Pretty much two gap, and this is what you call stacking and shedding a block. Gets rid of him. Boom, makes a solo tackle on Nick Chubb straight up, drives Nick Chubb back. Now, Nick Chubb is a hoss. We know this. Drives that man back, getting off a block. He may not be, what is he, 230, 235 pounds? So, you know it's not a weight thing. He's not a 250-pound Rolando McClain or something like that. He just has an innate ability to get off blocks. Check it out. Boom. Stacks up Sony Michelle. Where's Rashawn Evans? Let's see how he finished the play. Here he is right here. Stuck. Jumps on the pile. Boom. Keith Brooking. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. He ain't Keith Brooking, but come on now. Boom. Let's look at it in real time. All right, y'all, top billing, your boy Murph back here. All right, check this out right here. Same thing we have in your normal alignment here that we see. Actually, this is not a normal alignment. I, I like this alignment right here. You're going off of 12 personnel here, ace personnel. Um, you got your two tight ends right here. I believe this is uh, Jackson Harris and Jeb Blazevich. Your two tight ends. You have a draw coming right here. You see Sony Michelle right here at death. So you know that if this is not a, it's going to be either some type of play action or it's going to be some type of 
uh, quick hitting inside type play, uh, just because you can see him at death right here behind the quarterback, Jake Fromm. All right, so check this out here. You got your man T. Hall here. I mean, T. T. Lewis here. You got Christian Miller out here. Both your outside linebackers here on one side right here. So let me know that either they both need help setting the edge. I don't know. But uh, you got Rashawn Evans uncovered over here on your guard. So it's your normal kind of 30 stack. Normally, your Terrell Lewis will be kind of bumped in a little bit right here. So your normal 3-4 set. Actually, no, it's kind of it's shifted over because right here, I believe that's Deshaun Hand is head up over a tight end. So he's almost at like a nine technique. But pretty much you see the spacing here. So some people are going to be uncovered. So you're going to have to work off blocks here at the at the, at the the very least if you're Mac Wilson and Rashawn Evans. But look how each reacts to blocking. So you got Kendall Baker here. Straight shot right here. Either him or Isaiah win. Straight shot right here on Rashawn Evans. And then you have Big Ben Cleveland. And with a straight shot on Mac Wilson here, the right guard. All right, so let's roll it a little bit. All right, so let's see how they react. Let's let's pay attention to Rashawn Evans first. So you got Rashawn right here. All right, so boom. This is a draw play. So fake pass blocking. Boom, Kendall Baker and Lamont Gellyard right here. Right on my man, I think, Deron Payne. So it's Isaiah Wynn. Isaiah Wynn is going head up with Rashawn Evans. Rashawn Evans is looking at the play. He spots it. He knows where it's going. He needs to quickly attack this hole right here. There's nobody there. Attack this hole. But he also can feel this block coming. So fight or flight, right? <laughs> you're going to take on this block by a big angry Isaiah Wynn and get off that bad boy or you're going to shoot this gap or something. You know what I mean? Um, let's see what he chooses to do. All right. He takes himself out of the play. Takes himself out of the play. Like, huh? I don't understand this. Attack, attack. Sam, Sean Evans is a really good player, but this is not his forte. This is just not his forte. Doesn't make him a bad player. It's just his style of play. So, boom. You see him once again? He takes himself out of play. He wanted no parts of that. He, somebody else needs to get that man. That's what he's saying. He's like, ole, ole, ole. And he's like, ah, oh, we got it right there. You can have it. All right, so let's check out Mac Wilson right here. Big Ben Cleveland, Andrew Thomas with a block on the five technique. Uh, it's probably Raekwon Davis, I would have to think. So, boom. Right there, Big Ben coming up right there. Mac Wilson still looking at the play. Notice it's going this way. He's not caring about a block because blocks are nothing to him, right? So he's going to get off that, boom. And going to run your boy, Masoni Michelle, down. Boom. With a nice hit to the shoulder pass. Boom. Just nasty. And obviously, my man, Mac Wilson, got to get up. He got to get in your face because that's what he does there. See, Mac Wilson's not the biggest guy. Look, he's not that much bigger than Sony Michelle there. So, I don't know about his listed height or weight or whatever like that. But he looks to be about six foot, six foot one. If Sony Michelle is 5'11". But get up in his face right there. Let him know. This kid is special, y'all. He is special. So I don't want to hear nothing else about that. This kid can play some football, and um, his time is coming this year. So we'll see about that. But we're going to talk about the intricacies of the sport. This guy has it down pat. So let's go ahead and see that at regular speed. Peace. 